tracks It's great to see you heaving and happily hauling It won't be long till you are back We're on our way, we have our fare Down to the station, the engines are on Great to see the steam team are happily hooting the strongest engines hauling all those times. We're on our way, we have our fare. Down to the station, the engines are on there. Every day there's so much to do. Hey, Thomas, we know that you'll pull through. To know you're coming, we're counting on you. Every day our mail gets through. We're on our way, we have our fare. Down to the station, the engines are all there. Every day there's so much to do. Hey, Thomas, we know the jumble through. It was a busy time on the island of Sodor. Spring was nearly over and the engines were preparing for the summer rush. On Thomas's bright sign, the workmen were busy making last minute repairs before the summer. Lady was assigned to the work trains and all she could do was watch the other engines with their passenger and goods trains. She wanted to get back to her normal work. One day she arrived back at the sheds to see everyone talking about something. What's going on? Haven't you heard? We're having a visitor for the month. He's coming to help over the first month of summer. Who is? His name is Wilbert, the forest engine. He's famous. As famous as us? More. He was friends with the Reverend. Friends with who? Surely you must have heard of the Rev W. Audrey. He used to come to this island and wrote stories about us. Wilbert knows all the stories he's wrote. He loves telling stories. Do you remember the one about 16? The engine that went cab over wheels? Well, I've heard enough about this, Wilbert. Time for my next works train. Someone woke up on the wrong side of the engine shed today. Thomas was worried about his friend. She never acted this way before. Later, Lady was working by the side of the main line with the workmen. Why is this engine so special? All because he knew some man. If it wasn't for the Rev W. Audrey, nobody on the mainland would know about our stories. All their stories. Then they heard an unfamiliar whistle. Who's that? Suddenly, a blue saddle tank engine with a loaded flatbed truck rolled past. Hello! That must be Wilbert. At the station, all the engines were waiting for the visitor. They were all very excited. I hear he's come here before. He did. He helped Duck and Thomas on their branch lines. Soon, a signal dropped and everyone heard a whistle. A moment later, from around the corner, came Wilbert the forest engine. The blue saddle tank engine stopped beside the other engines. It's great to be back. He said as he looked at all his old friends and all the new engines he wanted to meet. I hope I get to know all my new friends and catch up with my old friends too. But first, I've got to take the special special to the Steamworks. Person and I will show you the fastest way. Of course we will. Thank you, dear friends. I'll catch up with you all tonight. Goodbye. Soon the three engines rolled to the Steamworks. Lady saw everything and wanted to know more about this engine, so she followed them. At the steamworks, workmen were opening the crate Wilbert bought. 
I found him in the scrapyards while I was on my way here. Wow, who is it? Soon Percy got his answer. Hello guys, miss me? Engines, meet Neil. Neil, you're back. Thomas, how are the Nafford Yards doing? I run my own branch line now. Oh, I've been gone for a long time. What were you doing in a scrapyard? I broke down. Nobody wanted to pay to repair me. Until I heard of this. Neil, you're just what we need to help out with the old bird we're shutting on. Thank you for this chance, sir. I won't let you down. I know you won't. While the engines talked to each other, Lady watched in amazement. That evening, Wilbert stayed the night at Tidmouth Sheds and told stories to the engines. When they all had gone to sleep, Wilbert saw a small purple engine on a siding. She looked lonely for some reason, so he decided to see why. Hello, what are you doing here? I just want to be alone for a bit. Is something wrong, miss? You can tell me anything now. Lady told him all about how everybody has been on about his visit. So, you believe I'm getting all the attention. All the Sodor engines are more famous than me. I know they are. It's just... All I've done since coming here is work on Thomas's branch line. Would I be remembered if I left? <laughs> Sounds like you're judging yourself without knowing the full facts. You know, that reminds me of a story of an engine who made a quick judgement. And this is the story Wilbert told.
So what do you think now, lady? I'm not sure. Making quick judgments about yourself or anyone else isn't good. I'm sure everyone else would miss you if you went away. I guess you're right. <sighs> well, time to sleep. Busy day tomorrow. Soon he went back to his siding. Lady was about to go to her shed when the yard manager came up to her. A crate for the other railway has been left here by mistake. I need you to take it there tonight. Lady was cross. She wanted to go to sleep, but she knew what it meant to be a really useful engine, and went to find her delivery. Soon she and her delivery arrived. She looked around to see scrapped engine parts everywhere. I think it's time for me to go. But before she could... Who are you? Lady decided to pluck up courage. I... I'm here to deliver this crate. There was a few seconds of silence before the voice broke it. Correct. Put it next to 16. Lady was intrigued. She heard of that number before somewhere. Who, who's 16? A steam engine. He's going to be scrapped tomorrow. Lady decided to investigate. I'll take this there then. A rusty brown saddle tank engine stood on a lonely siding. The only company he had was a bird who made a nest in his funnel. Excuse me, are you 16? The engine looked amazed. I haven't been called that in years. Everyone around here just calls me Scrappy. Why are you here anyway? My steelworks shut down. I had an accident a few years ago and the story spread. Because of that, no one wanted to buy me. Lady was surprised. Well, we'd better get you out of here then. Out? What makes you think your controller would take me in? He'll never scrap an engine, especially one who wants to be really useful. So Lady was turned around, then coupled up to 16. Soon, they set off, passing lines of diesels. Where are you two going? Home. With that, they puffed away quickly. They didn't stop until they reached Sodor. It was morning when they arrived. Welcome to Sodor, 16. It's better than I thought. You will enjoy being here. I'm sure, lady. Now, who's your friend here? Sitable hat, sir? This is 16. The 16? I've heard of you. Oh. I guess you've heard about my accident then. All in the past. Please, sir, take me in. Uh, I'll be no trouble and be really useful. Please, sir, give him a chance. I see you are very sorry for what happened and want to be really useful again. I believe you worked at the Sheffield Steelworks once. You are just the engine we need for the aluminum works we are rebuilding on the Peel Godred branch line. Lady and Sixteen were very happy. Thank you, sir. You will not regret it, sir. I know. Now wait here for Edward, and he'll take it to the steamworks, 16. Um, sir, if it's possible, with a new life here, I would like a new name for myself. Sure. What would you like? Well, on my last railway they called me the Sheffield Engine, or Sheffield for short. I think I like Sheffield more than 16 anyway. Good. Sheffield it shall be. The month flew by. The maintenance work was soon completed and Lady returned to her regular duties. Wilbert helped all the engines and worked on all the lines. Soon the day came for Wilbert to go home. We'll all miss you Wilbert. I'll make sure to visit when I can. 
please do. Then the Fat Controller arrived. Before you go, Wilbert, I'm sure you would like to join us in welcoming Sheffield. Sheffield rolled up. He had been repaired and repainted into a nice green with red lines, and had a nameplate saying Sheffield. How do I look? As good as new. You must also thank the engine that rescued him, Lady! Suddenly Lady was the center of attention. Still believe you're not going to be remembered? I guess not. Just remember, it doesn't matter if you're a steam engine, diesel, standard, narrow gauge, famous or forgotten. You all can do amazing things. Thank you, Wilbert. I hope you'll come back. I will, and I'm sure that the Reverend W. Audrey would have loved to turn this story into a book. Goodbye, everyone! Everybody cheered for Wilbert, rolling away, back to the Dean Forest Railway. Special day!